a man in Japan got sued for losing his wallet and not saying thank you to the guy who found his wallet. Hello world, this is Dean from Japan. How are you doing today? So this story sounds absolutely crazy. So let's look at the details. This happened in Osaka, Japan when a 70 year old man found a wallet with 403,000 yen which is around 4,000 US dollars and then he turned it into the police. At a first glance, you might think, wow, what a really nice guy. But here's the kicker. The guy who found the wallet sued the owner for not giving him a reward for returning it. Under the lost property law in Japan, the owner of a lost item is required to pay a reward of 5 to 20% of the item's value to the finder. However, the finder must make the request within a month of returning the item. So the man who found the wallet gave it to the police this January. The owner, a 50-year-old self-employed man, was contacted by the police and got his wallet back on the same day, which was really lucky for him because the wallet actually contained other things such as his IDs. But when the nice old man who found the wallet didn't hear back from the owner, he actually called the owner. The owner didn't even say thank you and just hung up saying that he was busy. He didn't even respond to text messages and stopped taking any calls. Dude, you were carrying around $4,000. I don't know who does it, but the guy could have stolen it. Do you have any idea how lucky you are and you can't even say thank you? So this pissed off our hero and he filed a lawsuit in February seeking 86,000 yen in reward money which is about 800 American dollars. At the first hearing on April 12th, the self-employed man showed up and agreed to pay 70,000 yen or $650 in reward money. After the settlement was reached, the plaintiff, so the 70-year-old man, asked in court if the self-employed man had anything to say, to which the wallet loser said, thank you very much, showing gratitude for the first time. I'm guessing the 70 year old man is retired so he has a lot of free time but that's some persistence and burn. And how much did he have to pay in legal fees to get that 70,000 yen? He basically sued a guy to make him say thank you. During an interview, the plaintiff said, I didn't even care about the money, I just wanted the guy to show some gratitude. The self-employed man said, I was just busy with work, I wish I had said thank you sooner. No, you were just being a jerk. Thanks to this lawsuit, you'll be less of a jerk the next time. You pissed off a guy with lots of free time. So I'll be showing some of the reactions I found online on the screen, but I would say that Japan is a pretty safe country and it's often said that if you lose a wallet, if you go back to the same place a few hours later, you'll find the wallet at the same spot. But that level of safety is predicated on people following the rules. If the rule said that you have to give a certain percentage of reward money, I would say that you should. You should definitely show some gratitude. So what did you think about today's story? Let me know in the comments section. And if you want more crazy stories from Japan, you can check this video to see crazy girls live streaming their attempted murder. And this video is about these awful animal rights activists stealing dogs from an old man. Thank you for watching and if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you won't miss a video. I'll speak to you guys very soon. Take care.